the sport of badminton requires agility, speed, fitness, and of course, great skill. Johan Kleinkrupp from Bloemfontein, a kidney recipient in 2009, found himself up against Baruz Salimi from Iran in his second pool match. Johan was just too good for the Iranian, beating him 21-3, 21-3. Proving himself to be a very strong player for South Africa, never losing a single set in any of his round-robin matches or semi-final, Johan easily advanced to the final where he faced British player John Tibbet. The UK player also had a strong route to the finals, having not dropped a single set in any of his qualifying matches. This was going to be an interesting final, and some members of the South African team were on hand to make sure Johan knew he had their support. Throughout the match, both players were equally determined and played strong badminton. Johan kept his cool and managed to get the edge over his British opponent in their first set, giving the South African a lead of 21-12. Johan seemed to have the game wrapped up as he began to take a comfortable lead over his opponent. By the end of the final set, Johan Kleingeld beat John Tibbet 21-12. 21-6 to claim yet another gold medal for South Africa. Valhalla Indoor Sports Complex was the venue for the World Transplant Games swimming events. The South Africans were obviously quite at home in the pool, performing well in each of their timed heats. Tersha Smith swam a very strong freestyle heat for a well-deserved spot in the final. Harold Moore, the recipient of a kidney transplant in 1982, showed his prowess, coming a very close second in the 50-meter breaststroke. Matthew Moffat, who had a heart transplant in 2001, made waves in the breaststroke, earning a bronze in the 100-meter event and taking a first place in the 50-meter freestyle for another well-earned gold medal for the South African team. In the men's 50-meter freestyle, Harold Moore boosted the medal count, taking his place on the podium for a fantastic freestyle swim, which earned him a silver. Tersha Smith went on to swim a great freestyle final in a time of 42.3 seconds, just short by a split second to Great Britain's Wendy Sincox's new age class record of 41.84 and was obviously happy with her overall participation. It's such a privilege to be here in, in Sweden, Gothenburg, to take part in the transplant games. It's so good for us all to be together and it's so good for our health to take part in this international level. Tennis was held in the Ulivai Tennis Club in the center of Gothenburg. The tournament was played as a round-robin format. The best two players in each pool advanced through to the semi-finals and ultimately the final in their specific age group. 
South Africa's 23-year-old Etienne Stein, a kidney transplant recipient, played well throughout his matches but didn't progress to the semi-finals. Stefan van den Berg came through the round-robin stage without losing a single match. In the semi-final, he played British opponent Andrew McGarry in a match that pitted two of the game's top tennis aces against each other. It was a closely contended game, each bringing strong power serves and volleys, but ultimately the Brit took the match. Stefan went on to win the playoff for the bronze medal, adding to Team South Africa's medal count. The Hills Golf and Country Club played host to the Transplant Games golf teams for the duration of the tournament. Team South Africa had 10 participants. Vickers Easterhazen, Anton Roo, Dick Kruger and Craig Banks shot respectable course scores to each finish fourth in their respective age groups. Hayley Ace won gold in her age category for women. Nineteen-year-old Edward Orman was a formidable opponent on the squash court. He was a liver transplant recipient as a child and was able to compete at a high level in this Gothenburg Games. In the first round, he faced Britain's Paul Bill, beating him 9-3, 9-1, 9-love. Edward went on to win every one of his matches and took the gold medal. SA teammate Kubas Vedermann took the bronze medal in the same age group category. In the ladies under 29 age group, the final was an all South African affair as Catherine de Beer matched up against Alice Vught, a double lung transplant athlete seen here wearing dark green. Despite being SA teammates, it was a hard-fought match. With a final score reading 9-5, 9-3, 9-1, Catherine finally took top honours, giving her the gold medal and Alice the silver. Anil Bulkerman won gold in the 40-49 age group, with fellow teammate Henry van Aspergen taking the silver, making for a very successful games for the entire SA squash team. I've been transplanted uh, 13 years ago. I had a kidney transplant and uh, ever since I had my transplant, I started to go to the gym and finally I took up squash. And uh, ever since then, it has helped me with my health. It's, it's keeping me fit and it makes me proud also to represent my country at the same time. <laughs> 